Hello boaters. You may already know this, but my wildlife camera here is dead. Um, I bought it last May. It was new. Um, and I've been using it nearly every night since then. Not every night, but... And it's worked flawlessly. I've been quite happy with it, really. Um, it's got limited controls, but it's been delivering the results. And a couple of nights ago, I set it up as normal, just as it was getting dark. Um, powered it up, and usually I just power it up, switch it on, and then forget about it till the next morning. Um, about half an hour later, though, I was indoors using my computer, and I noticed that one of my ceiling lights just suddenly went dim. I thought, well, that's a bit unusual. Cheap Chinese LED bulbs, perhaps. Um, but it went dim for about sort of 10, 15 seconds, and then back up to full brightness again, and everything was as normal. And I thought, oh well, just one of those things, I guess. Didn't think too much of it. A little bit later still, I went out into the cratch where the, the camera is situated, and I noticed that the uh, the power supply, right, the power supply, it, uh, it converts the 12 volts down into the 6 volts that the uh, unit needs. It's got a little red LED on it, and that had gone out. Oh, oh dear. Suddenly I made the connection between the, uh, the light going dim and the, uh, the power supply packing up. So I changed the fuse of the power supply, and the light came on again. I thought, well, I better check it. So I connected up to my multimeter, and instead of six volts, it was putting out twelve volts. So oh, this is <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the camera. <laughs> so I get the camera in. Um, everything looks okay. It didn't. There was no sort of smell of burning in the camera itself, although the uh, the power supply smelled a bit hot. Um, I took the memory card out, and that was fine. There were two videos on it, two video clips. There weren't anything interesting, but they'd recorded correctly, and apparently everything was okay. I think the problem happened, and I, I think with these sort of cheap um, trail cameras, reliability is an issue. Um, I, I, I'm beginning to hear stories of them not lasting all that long, which is a bit of a worry. Um, but what I'm pretty sure, what I thought first had happened was that the power supply had malfunctioned and fried the camera. But now I've had a bit of a think about it, I think it was the other way around. I think the camera failed and that overloaded the power supply because when it failed, um, it didn't fail to open circuit. If you get a light bulb and that breaks, the current stops flowing. Okay, but with this thing, when this failed, the camera was broken and yet power continued to flow through it and a lot more than it would usually use. And that's what overloaded the power supply. So even though, even though it's not working, it's still drawing a lot of power. So I'm surprised nothing's actually burned in the camera, actually. But I reckon that's what happened. I think it was just an internal fault. I, I was using it, of course, on the uh, six volt adapter socket. Um, I've checked the battery compartment, I've checked the inputs, they're all okay, there's no problems with that. It's just when you switch it onto, yeah, the uh, the camera is, is all on this panel on the inside, okay, there's a little wire that the batteries go in there or the power supply plugs into there, links up, and the I've, I've traced the fault definitely to the, to the circuit board on this side of it. Um, so yeah, there's nothing I can do to fix that. The only possibility is the LEDs, the infrared LEDs. I'm, they're on a little separate circuit board and there's just a slight chance, I don't know yet, there's a slight chance that they might still work. So I'll, I'll take them out at some point and, and give them six volts and see what happens. Um, might make a good sort of invisible light so that maybe I can rig up some other forms of photography outside. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. But anyway, it's dead. Um, it lasted about three months or so. <laughs> Not very good. Um, I will get another one at some point though. Um, I, I've looked at quite a few online and some of the some of them are very expensive, but they're like two or three hundred pounds. This was 45. Um, but this is actually higher specified than the really expensive ones, um, which makes me feel that they've been cutting corners somewhere with these cheap ones. Um, so I need to do a bit more research. Um, so either get another another trail like, trail camera, 
or maybe some sort of CCTV system that will work outside. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a it's a project for the future. I had fun using it. Um, I've got just a few clips which I've recorded, and I can show you now um, between which I've recorded between the last video and before the camera broke. So here they are. And until until next time, here are the clips. <laughs>